you know, when you have a, an injury like mine or, um, you know, something negative happens in your life, you know, your family might be at a loss at how they can really help you out and uh, be there for you. Um, and for me, I think this has just been a really cool way for my family to be involved in something very positive in my life. My family got involved with Northeast Passage in probably 1999 when I had a, a body surfing accident down the Caribbean, uh, broke my neck and became a quadriplegic. I remember very clearly I was in my kitchen Saturday night and I got this phone call that Nate had been injured on a visit to the Caribbean and they were trying to get him back to the United States and they needed special help and so worked with Senator Gregg and together we were able to get him back and get him into treatment immediately. So it was after that that I really got to know them a little better and to really understand how close-knit the family is and how much they contribute to the community. My relationship with the Loomises uh, started pretty much right after Nate's injury and uh, the Loomises uh, came back to town and, and immediately we were in contact with Northeast Passage and um, Nate became involved in some of our programming very soon after returning to town from rehab. One of the really neat things about Northeast Passage in general and you know for me specifically quad rugby is that um, they're really interested in getting your family and friends involved in, in recreation as well. I'd heard about quad rugby, it was something that, that they told me about in, in the rehab hospital and you know a sport I could play and I, you know I was marginally interested and so I showed up to, to a practice and there was a bunch of guys you know playing around having a good time. They put me in a chair and I was hooked you know the, from the first hit you know crashing into somebody. That was that was a sport for me. Jim is is the glue that keeps us together if you will. He's our uh, equipment manager uh, but he is, his role is much bigger than that. It's he's at every tournament with us, he's at every practice with us. And the chairs take a beating and so equipment manager on any level of quad rugby is your best friend. I've always said this as a head coach's head coach, but I don't have to be there, but the equipment manager has to be there. Anne is just like everybody's mom. She's so friendly and caring. She cares about us as staff, as individuals. She cares about our participants. When we were organizing our first rugby tournament, she got all of her friends together and they made cookies and little packages for all of the players to take back to their hotel with them after they were finished playing. My mom is just such a sweet person and, and people really pick up that positive vibe from her right away. It is very hard to put a price tag or even a label on what Jim and Ann donate to Northeast Passage. The main thing is the commitment and uh, to us. It's not, oh, you know, I'm going to give you some money and then, oh, you know, Merry Christmas. It is a full commitment on every level. The other day Jim called and he had been speaking with someone at Wentworth Douglas who happened to work with two kids who were double amputees. And the first thing that came to Jim's mind was Northeast Passage and do you know about Northeast Passage? And this person didn't. So he called me up and asked if I could give him a stack of Northeast Passage brochures that he could take over to the hospital so that, that he could spread the word. And that's, that's quintessential Jim. I mean, that's what he's always doing. He's always thinking of us. Um, he does it right away and, and he follows through and that's, and that's what we love most about Jim. Northeast Passage has now been around for more than 20 years and in a, in a state that has a lot of nonprofit agencies, um, a lot of them have also gone by the wayside. And to have a group that has a longevity of more than 20 years more than half of which the Loomis have been involved with us, um, speaks to you know, their commitment to us. And they do so much more than just help Nate out. You know, they help this whole, this whole organization out. And really, Northeast Passage is like a, a big family. Um, it's kind of corny to say, but they really are, and that's how they make you feel at home. I'd just like to thank Jim and Ann from the bottom of my heart for all that they've done for us. Um, they are so generous with their time and their energy, and we are so, so grateful to have them as part of our team. You know, anything I could say just would, would sound kind of hollow, except for just thank you so much. When they decided to be with NEP, they went 110%. They said, we're going to kick ass and just do it. So that's, you know, that's what they do. They're people that just, you know, that's just the family they are, is they get things done and they, they're committed which is invaluable. There is no price tag on that. I want to thank Jim and Ann, the entire Loomis family, um, for all of their contribution, not just to Northeast Passage, but to the university, to their community. They really do represent the highest ideals of the Hubbard Award. Jim, I have a very special uh, personal award for you for this, this gala evening. May I present to you, in abstentia, 
my very special award for you. I don't think I can say thank you enough to my parents. I mean, they're, they're there for me all the time. You know, I couldn't have a more supportive family. And, and you know, when you, when you have that feeling of, of somebody behind you, you know, looking out for you and having your back, I mean, you, you feel like you can do anything.